They look so weird without the bottle in. There's quite a lot to do. Please don't judge me. So it's launch day. How I managed to pull off this entire collection within like a day and a half is beyond me. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the Fauna Rose YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Megan and I'm the owner of Fauna Rose and I make and sell scrunchies, macrame, home decor, glassware and a huge bunch of goodies like that. And I am, even though I seem like happy and smiley, I'm a little bit sick again. I'm trying to recover. I've had this sort of like constant underlying minor coldy sort of feeling for the past few weeks now and it's peaked a little bit today so bear with me. But in today's video, I actually have a launch tomorrow. I've got another collection drop in. It's my spring collection part two and am I prepared for it? No, of course I'm not. So my new year's resolution to get ahead of things and prepare for each launch. Yeah, it's not really worked. <laughs> but I've got a bunch of goodies dropping tomorrow morning. So it's currently Friday the 19th. So at the 20th at 9 a.m. I have a bunch of items dropping that I've not even made yet, which is really great. <laughs> I have filmed a few clips here and there, I think from yesterday and today. So I'm gonna pop them in here. from Jackalope Joe and I've got a maple syrup latte. I love these. Honestly, if you're ever in the Lincolnshire area, go and check her out because she's amazing. And I picked up a sea salt brownie, which I'm so excited to devour. There's someone stood next to my car watching me. But I'm just gonna run a few errands and then head back home. Obviously now I'm back, I've just been to town and I've got a couple of packages to unbox. But I've just had this arrive and it should be more of my floral cork coasters that I've ordered, just as a fun little extra to add to the shop. There we go, I'm gonna leave these in here and I'll show you the ones I've already opened. So to go with the glassware that I make, I thought these would be really cute. Like, they're just little retro floral cork coasters. So if you wanna grab yourself a cute glass, cute little coaster. I'm only going to be selling these for maybe £2. They may even be used as freebies, just a fun, very affordable thing to add to the shop. So I thought those were really cute, couldn't resist. And yes, we have a bunch of new glassware dropping. We've got this fun smiley face checkerboard one. Then we got the checkerboard X's and O's one. We've got this gorgeous Hello Spring one. And then we've got this cat one, which isn't really my vibe in terms of the shop, but I like cats and so do people at markets. So 
I just got that because why not as a test to see if people like it or not. And then we have this one here, which is obviously going to be fabric. Well, I say obvious, it's obvious to me it's going to be fabric, but I've had to order so much fabric recently, I have no idea what package is what currently. Oh, it's more of my lemon one. Okay, cool. So I can't remember what I've shown. I'm a little bit all over the place in terms of videos because I'm trying to catch up with my Fauna Rose family members. So I'm so sorry if you are a family member and you've been waiting for those extra content videos and podcasts and stuff. I'm so sorry I've got the podcast done edited and uploaded this morning so that's all out there and I'm working on getting the video done so I'm all over the place with editing right now and what I filmed what I've not filmed but I've got this print dropping today which is the jasmine scrunchies and collection that's all ready to go but I barely got any scrunchies out of that fabric so I had to pick up some more because I can't really do a collection drop with only like three scrunchies so picked up more of that but my macrame drinks carriers are dropping tomorrow so my water bottle holders we've got a lilac one i've got a sage green a yellow and then i was working on this pink one last night and you may notice it's unfinished and that is because i've been waiting on getting some little elastic just to help make the finishing not a bit stronger so i've just picked some up today they look so weird without the bottle in so i need to make up some more of those i also have new scrunchies to make i finally picked up a big cutting mat there's quite a lot to do so we should probably <laughs> crack on i've got my rail up again so my family members have seen this whole setup if you can see any mess as per please don't judge me i'm a gremlin okay <laughs> i've pre-cut all the cord for a black one because i sold a black one at the lincoln event i did recently and black's kind of a staple so i'm gonna make a black one it's just about to turn quarter to 12 i'm gonna time myself to see how long this roughly takes me to do which is gonna be hard for me because i flip between tasks and if this migraine gets worse or headache gets worse i might have to go and lie down let's see how long this takes i'm gonna listen to my spooky podcast which is the real life ghost stories podcast let's see how long this takes We are on 1957 so nearly 20 minutes that has taken me to do one half and get to this little little person stage it looks like a little caveman drawing and i can't go any further until i've done the other side because these have to be attached to the other side if that makes any sense so 20 minutes so the other half will be 40 minutes so i reckon these will probably take me between an hour and a half and two hours to do so considering i charge 18 pound for these if it does take me that long minimum wage for my age is like 11 pound something now so just for the work that goes into it these would need to be 20 something pound like 22 23 pound and then on top of that all the cord that goes into them and like the materials so if i wanted to make a profit on these if i was to factor in my time these would need to be about 30 something pound so consider that when you are making items it's a tough one when you do macrame or macrame because they take a lot of time but not many people are willing to pay for that time and stuff so it is an unfortunate item that isn't very profitable i just really enjoy it and i think you can make some beautiful items from it so yeah you need to consider that when you're making this sort of stuff <laughs> I'm on 38.47 but I did forget to press the timer to go as I started so yeah about 20 minutes per side. This is where we're at so we now need to attach them. Sorry guys my camera died so I've just been cracking on. So we're on an hour and 25 seconds and this is where we're up to. I was really hoping I could do it within an hour but that's quite unrealistic I've realised. We've got this much to do. And we do have an order to package up, which is really exciting. So I'll have to go to work even earlier to get to the post office. <laughs> Guys, I am done. An hour 15 and five whatever that means there we go another black one made so we now have black lilac yellow let me get them all actually the black one's on an s hook which is why it looks longer but these are very spring colors i might as well finish off the pink one while i'm here so let's take this out but i desperately need to get some lunch desperately need to pack up that order because i'm pushing it for time it's like 10 oh it's 10 past one damn it i need to leave in like 40 minutes There 
we go. Wow. So cute. Look at them all. I would like to do like a, a tealy bluey colour and I think that might be it. So I might have to do that one this evening. I'm probably going to have to photograph them all tomorrow morning. Bear in mind the launch is at nine. So unprepared, but it's getting late. So in 20 minutes time, I need to make lunch, eat lunch, parcel up an order, pay for the shipping label and head to work. Rachel has ordered and Rachel has landed on a freebie. So I'm actually gonna throw in one of the coasters as a freebie because it's cute and she has ordered a cup. So hopefully she will like it. Thank you so much, Rachel. Hello guys, so it's just about to turn 8 p.m. <laughs> and I still have so much to do for this launch. I got back from work and I took a few photos and video clips of the bottle carriers. I decided I'm not gonna do like individual photos for the colors. What I'm gonna do instead is upload this like collage that I've done, but there are photos of a few of them just so then people know what they look like and then they can select a color. But I really quickly need to make <laughs> these scrunchies, the sort of mint greeny ones, because obviously these are supposed to be launched tomorrow and they're not even made. And it's 8 p.m. I don't want to be sewing too late so obviously we've got neighbors so I'm gonna try and just make like one of each one like one XL one mini just so I've got like a photo and then carry on making these tomorrow does that make sense so when it's light out tomorrow I will take the photos tomorrow morning but I have the listing ready to go and stuff again ignore the surrounding mess but look at my new cutting mat it's absolutely huge <laughs> this was my other one <laughs> it was so small How stinking cute is this? I will show you in better lighting tomorrow, natural lighting, but yeah, I think these are so cute. They're perfect for spring. What I'm gonna do now, because it's half eight, I'm gonna go and have my dinner. Once I've had my dinner, I'm gonna then cut up the teal macrame, which is that one. Wow, I look like a ripe potato in the corner. I look like my sweet potato wedges that are in the oven right now. And then I'm just gonna have like a chill maybe pop on some YouTube. Sit here and make up my final bottle carrier.
good morning guys so it's launch day and i have already launched it all how i managed to pull off this entire collection within like a day and a half is beyond me but i managed to do it <laughs> i stupidly stayed up ridiculously late last night for no reason but i did manage to get the teal bottle carrier done nearly done that's a lie i've not done the finishing not on the tassels but it's pretty much done and we got some orders <laughs> which is so exciting i'm absolutely amazed first of all throughout the night at some point i don't know if it was like early this morning Kaylin put an order in and it's a monstrous order it's absolutely massive so thank you so so much Kaylin picked up Anova XL, Juniper XL, Brooke XL, Sage Lanyard, Sapphire XL, Miss Daisy Mini, Faith XL, Ember XL, Veronica XL, a Hallie Rissler, Joyce XL and a Sandy XL <laughs> Thank you so much. What a huge order. They're so exciting. That's going all the way to the States. And then I did the launch and Shirley and Tay have both ordered. Guys, thank you so much. Shirley, you've been an amazing supporter of my shop. And Tay, you only put an order in the other week. So guys, thank you. I'm not going to sit here for ages going thank you, thank you, thank you. Because my voice is very sore. I've woken up with a very swollen throat and a swollen ear for some reason. So taking this weekend off from events was definitely a good idea. Shirley, you've picked up the new... Oh, no way. The new cat glass can cup and the macrame bottle carrier in black <gasps> see the black's a staple so that's two of the black ones i've now sold one at an event and one online <gasps> i didn't think i would sell any oh wow shirley 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 thank you so much that's so exciting let's see what tay's gone for oh she's managed to pick up the snake glass can cup i knew she wanted one of these so oh amazing i'm so happy she managed to pick one up as well as the alex mini what a cute combo that's definitely like a me order you've got good taste tay thank you so much guys so I will be passing those up this afternoon, but I'm actually gonna treat myself. I say treat myself. I get a bit scared every time I go to the city, especially this city, but I'm gonna be popping to the closest city to us just to do a little bit of shopping. Not like a crazy like shopping spree, but there's a couple bits that I need. There is a little fabric shop there that I'm gonna go and have a nosy at. It's a lovely sunny day, so I'm gonna get out of the house, get a bit of fresh air. <laughs> I've just gone back. Let me take my coat off actually. I did pick up some fabric. So I got some more of my Jess fabric. I then picked up a few meters of this color because this is going to have to replace my aqua fabric because I just can't get the aqua fabric at all. I got a restock of the penny, more Jess fabric. And then this was just like a sale fabric that I'm just going to use for mystery scrunchies. And then I did pop into Unity, which is it's like a pop-up shop, but it's filled with like small businesses and stuff. I knew that Katie's stuff was stopped there from Ella Mella Studios, I've mentioned her before. And I'm pretty sure it's Elena, but now I'm thinking about it, I'm like questioning it. Is it Alana? I think it's Elena, but Elena, if you do ever watch this, please let me know, because I'm now having a brain fart. But anyway, I popped in to get some goodies and I knew that these two stocked there. And then as I got to the till, the lovely gal behind the till, I was like, I really, really recognise you. And thank God she did say this because it would have driven me mad all day. She was like, oh, you're Fauna Rose. And I was like, yes. She was like, I'm Elena from Elena Creates. I was like, oh, yes, of course. So that would have driven me mad. So thank you so much for saying hi. But Alex's younger sister, it's her birthday coming up and she's a big Harry Styles and a big Taylor Swift fan. So I picked up one of Elena's keychains and a Harry Styles print. So she's got really cool, really amazing style of artwork. And then I got this myself. It's another magnetic bookmark, but I love this design. It's so cool. It's definitely right up my street. It says death by nether ending to be read list. I have a really bad addiction to buying books. I did start another one recently so i do have two books currently on the go so i wanted another bookmark and then from kt i picked these up for giveaway i think i mentioned this recently i'm collecting a bunch of stuff from small businesses i'm going to do like a giveaway there's going to be four in a row stuff in there and i forgot to pick stuff up from kt from our market the other day i only treated myself to some stuff and i forgot to get stuff for you guys for the giveaway i picked up one of her clay mushrooms i think this is absolutely gorgeous i think it's so pretty it's got little dried florals on it so i grabbed that and then i grabbed this really pretty print so it's got loads of florals on it and it says you belong amongst the wildflowers and it says printed on fine art velvet paper 
So it's a gorgeous little postcard print. So that's going to be going in the giveaway as well. I enjoyed that. I needed to get out of the house, I think. But I'm exhausted now. <laughs> so I'm going to go and chill for a bit. Then I might do a bit of tidying in the office. And then I'm going to package your orders. Just before I go and chill, Rachel's just put an order in. Rachel, thank you so much. I wonder how many orders you've put in now. Quite a few. So I can add you to the sales tracker. So Rachel's gone for a Veronica Mini and one of the new Jasmine scrunchies. One of the Jasmine Minis. So Rachel, thank you so much. <laughs>
So I'm just editing this video and I've realised I haven't actually filmed an outro for it So I just want to quickly say thank you so much to everyone who supported the launch Bought something from the new collection or just bought anything in general It's so nice to have actually had orders on launch day It's happened a couple times now and it's not something that often happens for me So it means so much so guys thank you so so much and if you watch this entire video as well thank you so if you could head down into the comments if you watch this whole video and leave the green heart emoji just so i know you've watched the whole video but if you could also give it a massive thumbs up leave me a comment in general down below as well if you've not if you could hit that subscribe button it means a lot to me that would be amazing it's free as well all the social media information and the website for fauna rose is linked down below so go and check all of that out and if you are interested in joining the family membership sorry if you can hear that it's like a monstrous plane flying ahead but if you're interested in joining the family memberships where you pay a little fee each month like a subscription and you get heaps of extra content i will leave all the information for that down below as well but apart from that i'll catch you guys in my next one bye